Okay, I was working on verifying some assumptions. Uh, I have something not behaving correctly, and I wanted to verify that my assumptions are correct. And so I created a little uh, test case here. Uh, it turns out everything does work the way I expect. I'm not sure why it's not working on the form that I'm working on, but we'll figure that out later. So I have two fields here, and um, if I'm in the first, well, it doesn't matter if I'm in the first field or second field. If I press the first button, uh, the first process runs. And if I press last, it's going to say last process ran. And if I hit enter, both of them run, last process ran and first process ran. Those are just names I've given for uh, processes. Now, uh, if I hit the enter key in the last um, box, I want, the la I want it to act like it's pressing the last button. And uh, that does work. It says the last process ran. And if I hit the enter key in the first field, I want it to act like the enter key is pressed, which runs both processes. And so that works also. Um, okay. So the only thing it's here, it's not standard, is this little uh, flash message uh, thing that I've got going on here. That is part of K2. Um, okay. So let's go look at the uh, form. So we have our two fields and we have our three buttons. Um, if we look at the first button, um, there's, it's just doing a submit page. Button last is doing a submit page and button enter is doing a submit page. So they're all submitting uh, the page when you click them. So what process runs? If we go to processing, we can see we have a first and a last process. So if we click on, let's click on last here. Um, we can see that we're here's the code that we're executing. We're just logging uh, the the item and adding a flash flash message, which is that message that gets flashed. So I know that this is what ran and not the other one. And this is uh, in the processing step. And what we're what we have is we're using a server side condition called request is contained in value. And um, what happens is when a button is is clicked, it passes the button name the name of the button to as the request value. So in this case, I'm saying if uh, the request is in one of these values, I'm using button last or button enter, uh, then run the last process. So uh, this is just dealing with the button so far. And then for the uh, first process, it's button first or button enter. So, um, so button enter obviously runs both of them whereas button first will only run here and button last will only run here, if that makes sense. So let's go to, um, go back to rendering here. And we can see the dynamic action. So I have an enter key press in both of these as a dynamic action. And um, it's a key down event on the uh, P2 first or a key down event on P2 last. So that's all that's happening here. And then we're executing JavaScript code, which says if the event is 13, which is the um, enter key, then we're going to submit button enter. And this is where we're, I guess we're submitting the page and we're setting that request to button enter. So it's just like pressing the button, basically. If we look at the code here, we're passing in button last. Now, if we only wanted, um, uh, Wait a second. We're button last there. Here we're putting in button enter, so it'll run both processes. A little confusing, but it, 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 it should make sense. And this is button last. If I only wanted button, uh, uh, the first process to run, we would just change that to button uh, first, and then only the code related to that button uh, would run. So I can go back there, refresh, and now when I hit enter here, it's only going to run the first press process and this is only going to run the last process. So that's how I'm tying my enter key behavior for a particular field to a particular process, and those processes can be reached either by hitting enter or by clicking one of these buttons. So um, that's all I got. Um, if that uh, was new to you, uh, I hope, you hope, hope, hope it made sense. Uh, thanks for watching.